Hey everybody, so here's my camper shell build. Uh, I didn't see too many of these how-to videos on this stuff, so I figured I'd give it my best shot. I'm definitely not a carpenter by trade, so be easy on my critiques here. However, take what you want from it, apply it to your own builds, and just have fun with it. First, I started with the framing, obviously, so I have my side pieces. I went ahead, stood them up, and I connected them via roof in the front. I also threw in this little back bottom piece here for added uh, stability. The wood does warp rather quick, so the more support you have on it in the early stages, the better off it'll be in the long run. I definitely recommend using like a protractor or an angle finder, making sure all your angles are symmetric. Next, I got my exterior redwood. I applied a stainer to it, also a weatherproofing sealant. I use that same sealant on just about every piece of wood, including the framing you see here just to ensure that the uh, lifespan of it would be prolonged. Uh, water seepage is a real thing when you're out camping, especially with like moisture, so preventing that is critical. Next, I have two inch thick foam insulation I cut out and stuffed into just about every little nook and cranny possible. Um, again, ensuring that I'd be protected from all the elements that I come across. I have quarter inch thick plywood and that is applied to the interior and exterior. The next step for me was cutting out the windows. So what you're seeing here is half inch thick plywood. Uh, I found my center points from the top, bottom, and front of the shell, making sure everything was symmetric. Uh, I used a jigsaw to cut out the shape of the window uh, due to the size of the frame itself, which I'll be showing you guys in a minute here. I'd also like to add that I used a silicone sealant in every little crack of wood possible just to ensure that there would be no further water seepage uh, or, mo or moisture buildup just to prevent any warpage down the road. Girl, you gotta love your man. This happened to be a little mess up on my part. Instead of a two by three, I should have used a two by four. I had to add a little extra piece of wood there to ensure that my outer surface was nice and flat for when I applied my shiplap. Uh, using a jigsaw here to cut the shape of the window for that exterior redwood. Uh, again, glue and a staple gun to adhere everything to that outer surface. This is your 0 0.025 thick aluminum. And I had wrapped that over the edge of the shell ensuring that uh, any water that I did come across, it rolled off and onto the ship lap itself and not in between the wood. Um, and I also took that aluminum and I wrapped it all the way down the front edge. Unfortunately, I don't have a video of that, but uh, yeah. So this is the finished product for the roof. Uh, staple gun, some deck screws and glue, made sure that uh, everything was properly secured and bolted down nice. I got my outer edge or my trim. This is the window I was talking about. I'll leave a link so you guys can check those out. The hardware and some of the material I used to mount that window uh, was a little tricky process because I didn't have much direction and the window itself didn't come with instructions. So it's a little tricky to figure out, but what I ended up doing was screwing the hardware through these little holes you see here and into this outer edge of the window frame. I, was actually secured real nice once it was all said and done, along with the uh, sealant that I used on the interior and exterior of that window to ensure that everything was nice and waterproof. The next problem I had to solve was my rigging. I went and bought these jacks online and I'll be leaving that link below for you guys, but uh, I had to revamp my dolly system here, making sure it was a little bit taller to accommodate those jacks and also a little bit wider for ease of access uh, when it comes time to removing that shell on and off my truck, making it easier to back underneath it. Um, the shell's probably around 300 pounds and those jacks are rated for about 3,000, so we're good there. What you're seeing here is my door. I went and used quarter inch thick, like flex sand material. I definitely, definitely recommend pre-drilling for a lot of the applications here, especially when it comes to the glass. Um, I unfortunately, didn't heed my father's advice on this one and I ended up cracking my first application. But hey, you know, that's part of learning. You know, 
I rushed through a lot of this video. Uh, I wanted to kind of cram it all in and not bore you guys. But if you do have comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below. And I will try and do my best on getting back to you guys. Um, continuing on, though, I got some locks here just to ensure that uh, none of my belongings would get stolen. You do have to open up the shell in order to open up my tailgate. I made sure of that when I was building the door because it has a little overhang there. Um, just a little added security feature. I'm a huge fan of these gas struts. I went and purchased on Amazon. I'll leave a link below for you guys. Uh, I think it just makes the door so much more legit. But uh, also, I have these L brackets that I fabricated myself that mount to the stock rails of my Tacoma. And that's pretty much the gist of it all. Um, please hit the subscribe and like button to follow my adventures uh, putting this thing in use. Also, I'm going to continue building the interior bed system and everything like that. So feel free to tag along and uh, best luck to you guys.